Hello guys, welcome back to Black Desert Mobile, a new update to review guys and also the coupon giveaway, the monthly coupon giveaway winners, the time winners, I'm gonna give you uh, the winners today also. So let's start with the update, which is uh, a big update if you like guys the uh, like PvP, if you like uh, co-op mode and uh, I don't know, it's mixed also with PvE. So why? Because we have Azunak Arena, Azunak Arena, uh, which is a PV PVP mode for uh, guilds. Okay, we're gonna see exactly what you can do there, what you can gain, how it functions, everything. Also, uh, gonna see what new events we have, and also I'm gonna give you after the ten lucky winners. Okay, so first I'm gonna usually give you the beginning the winners, but uh, let's start first with the update and then I'm gonna give you one of the 10 lucky winners and uh, you'll have to contact me if you are one of the winners at the end of the month, okay, to give you the coupon. So let's see, this is a new content. Uh, as you can see, for this one you need, uh, so let's see the schedule first. So Azuna Karina take place on Mondays from 18.00 to 18.50 on Thursday from 20.00 to 20.50. So last for 50 minutes on Mondays and Thursdays. Okay, so two days per week. Uh, Azuna Karina is held of the pre-season event and you can enter via the icon um, or through the guild menu. Okay. So you need to enter as a team of three with your guild members. So you need to be in a guild. Okay, one, that's one of the requirements. Be in a guild and join with uh, another two of your guildmates. So in total three. Uh, you can form different teams for each match. Um, only one guild can participate in each match. Okay, matching is done across all servers sim simultaneously and will not be matched with members of your own guild. A total of 10 teams enter each area or starting with the same CP. Fairy skills are not applied, the outfit you have equipped before entering will be applied as it is. You can freely change skill presets within Azuna Arena, so you can change the skills inside. Memory crit effects equipped will not apply. Once you enter Azuna Karina, the max evasion limit will be set to 5. When entering Azuna Karina, all class skill levels are equalized to level 10. So, very important, you will have the same CP, you have everything, the same skill level, everything. So, everything will be equalized inside the arena. So, don't worry, thinking if you are a lower CP, you will have, uh, you know, a chance, you will. Okay, so here you can see the menu. Uh, so let's see what else. Here you can see there is a, there will be a score, and depending on that, you'll get uh, different rewards. Here it shows the menu for that. Here you can see the map and the different icons representing uh, different things, like this one. The swirling ones that are the portals. Portals of the same color are content for connected to each other, so you can use them and you can quick travel. As you can see, if you use the same uh, the same color. Uh, respawn points when defeated, you can select a spot to revive it. Forbidden energies, the energy appears before the bosses emerges from them. Then you have the bosses, as you can see there are three. Karl, Temir, and Kvaryak. Platforms. Uh, Libor's Dark Shadow. Okay, I think these are another two bosses. So here you can see how it looks inside the minimap. You can send quick messages to your team members using the button to the right of the HP gauge. Uh, you can see the thing. Okay, so there is a leveling system, as you can see right, achieve level 4, you can see the points, 2285, 
okay defeating monsters scattered through the area to earn experience and points the experience obtained from defeating monster is shared with the teammates within 40 minute 40 meter radius your cp increases when you level up so as you can see it's quite interesting so by defeating monsters monsters and other players you and your all the team members within 40 meter radius you gain levels and when you gain levels you gain cp that's nice i like this system so it's mixed pv with pvp i like it bonus experience the higher your character cp before entering the arena the more experience you will gain from defeating monsters so the only difference guys between you and other players is the cp you gain so the players that have higher CP before entering the arena. By the way, uh, also the minimum requirement for the CP, I think it's 42,500 or 40,000 to enter this arena and be in the guild. Uh, so, at 40,000, you gain zero bonus. For every 2,500, you gain 5% experience. Uh, 50,000 gains 20%. 60,000, 40%, you can see. So, the maximum is like at 100,000, you get 120%. So, there is a difference that means you level up faster, so you'll gain CP faster. So, yeah, it's not, um, you could say the wealth definitely will do better. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we'll see. You can still have fun, it's not impossible. Okay, else, let's see what else. So, uh, you can attack the other adventures except for your own team members. When defeat uh, an opponent, you steal 30% of their current score, gain experience equal to the points obtained, and receive extra bonus based on OCP before it is equalized inside the arena. Uh, the points obtained from a defeat are shared with the team members within 40 uh, minutes. 40 <laughs> meters radius. Sorry, here you can see the revive option after you get defeated. When you defeated in arena, you can revive after 10 seconds. You can choose the revive at your current location at one of the seven respawn points scattered across the arena. So, yeah, uh, space time resorts, of course, three minutes and 30 seconds before the arena ends, moving all the adventure to a specific location. Team members are summoned together while other teams are summoned nearby. After the space time is over, the number of revives is limited to 1. So, in the last 3 minutes and 30 seconds, you will have only 1 revive. Before that, unlimited. And also, all HP recovers after the space time is over. Okay, so see, you can see the min map. Uh, after the space time resort, when defeated, you can choose to either revive at your current location or one of the two respawning points. If you have no remaining revives after the being defeated, you can watch your teammates. So only one one time you can revive after that. Okay, let's see. Here you can see like the points and rank system. The rewards. The participation reward. You can get Holy Points of Light and ex Advanced Experience Call 100 and 500. You can obtain daily participation rewards once when the battle ends. Okay, then we have monthly and weekly chest. The monthly, uh, the weekly one, Seal Charms of Succession 1, Shadow Nose 200, Crimson Crown 20, and the monthly Supreme Experience Calls 4000, wow. Tangle Time 20, and Chaos Crystals 10,000, not bad. So you can see more things about that. More in there. One second. Okay, let's see. We have also you. You'll be in there. A chance to get this sealed relic. Okay. This one, by the way, this one will give you stats like for. Uh, I think one minute or something like that will give you extra buffs. One minute, yeah, five attack and five defense. So AP and DP by five levels increase for one minute. And this one it will appear on the map, but it shows on the minimap. Will not appear on the map, but it shows on the minimap. 
and this one can drop from defeating monsters okay top three adventures okay special skills also this one can drop the bosses Temir, Kvaryak and Fugitive Carl will spawn as the battle progress you will earn points and experience every time you deal a certain amount of damage so you don't have to actually defeat them to get experience each boss has a unique skill and only the adventurer who opens the skill acquisition chest that appears after defeating the boss can obtain it so you, you can get those skills from these bosses which is nice the cooldown for the skills 120 seconds you can see Temir has a healing skill Kvaryak poison and fugitive call a roar give you some buffs you can read about it okay when you obtain special skill the detail with the will be displayed in the chat window then you have sealed treasure chest during the arena seven sealed treasure chests will appear in one location four four out of the seven chests will grant you a special skill at random when destroyed opening the remaining three chests will if inflict a knockdown status effect all chests will disappear once based on this auto course okay very interesting then you have arena sword three are four uh, there are four swords four swords in azura Kenya then apply special effects when equipped these are the sword of wind sword of fire sword of hypodynamia and sword of dignity while you possess one sword you cannot obtain another you can discover it by defeating bosses and monsters or by activating platforms only the adventures from the from the team that discovered the sword can obtain it first if the first adventure who obtain it dies it will drop to the ground in front of the point on oh no, blah blah okay so you can read more about it what each one gives sword of wind sword of fire the platforms so you it like also about the bosses that you have to defeat dark shadow there are two extra bosses like libors and dark shadow while the arena in progress forbidden energy will appear in the various location and shortly after libors will spawn it will disappear once space time uh, dissolved of course this is a powerful entity and you can obtain a lot of points each time you de deal a certain amount of damage this one will appear simultaneously, simultaneously in two locations and upon the fifth different swords will appear on each location nice. dark shadow after space time dissolves dark shadow appears in the location you were teleported to all attacks are extremely powerful and delay so caution is required each time you deal a certain amount of damage to dark shadow you can obtain a large amount a large number of points okay so guys this is all about the new mode let's see if really fast the events so enter arena azuna karina we get clockwork from participation and also still chance of succession daily mission event oh nice not bad okay 10 trust water and these are daily rewards these are after you reach a specific target hammer of fortune is back for two weeks this one also two weeks this one also almost two weeks the hammer event you can see you need to stay logged in to get the hammers for uh, one hour and 20 i think like two hours well sorry about two hours i think something like that Roulette is still ongoing for another week and the tickets uh, Okay, August check-in Yeah, okay, I think these are pretty much the events um, Now let's see the lucky winners guys I'm gonna give you Okay guys, let's see the 10 lucky winners We're gonna start from the top and let's see hopefully you are one of the winners we have archangel several races bro you have to tell me if it's north america europe or asia okay so archangel is the first winner congrats okay let's go so first one races europe second winner warm inside congrats second winner uh so yeah 
let's see so we have one oasis one europe so far okay next okay arcana america congrats third winner one north america let's go third winner okay let's see if we can find also from asia or something uh another one from america medosa congrats fourth winner okay medosa let's see we have harold fifth winner from asia congrats One second so fifth winner asia okay let's see another one from asia i don't know how to pronounce the name jubak something like that <laughs> Sixth uh, winner, no? Yeah. Okay, sixth winner. Okay, so error. Uh, uh, no, I already gave to this. So last one, no last one. This is the seventh one. Fawa Asia, congrats. Uh, seventh winner, no? Okay, now let's see for from Europe or Asia. We have already. Okay, let's choose one more from Asia. Uh, Flame X3. Okay, this is the eighth one. Okay, we need to find more from Europe. We don't have that many from Europe. Okay, BG Cheese Europe. Congrats, ninth winner. Okay, one more from Europe or North America. Not Asia, I already have too many from. Okay, let's. The mid three, congrats. The tenth winner. So, guys, you have to contact me to Facebook or um, Discord. I'm gonna give you the links to, to that in case you don't know. So, don't forget to contact me. By the end of the month, we have a few days to give you the coupons, okay? So next month another pool and I have to stay here like two more weeks maximum then I'm gonna be back and I'm gonna post more often sorry because I didn't post that much lately but I'll be back okay guys so till next time see you and bye.